Hi. So I did a video on pacifiers and I got a bit of questions with regards to, you know, the positive and the negatives other than when it comes to breastfeeding. So in this video, I want to talk about that. Welcome to Nurturing Mums and my name is Shiro. So I had talked about, you know, uh, the pacifier, use of the pacifier when it comes to breastfeeding. So there's questions about, you know, what's the positive and the negatives. Of course, the obvious positive for the pacifier is that it settles, settles your baby. You have a baby who's fussy, who's, uh, you know, not settling even after a feed. You're sure that diaper has been changed, they've been burped, but still you feel your baby's fussy. So you give them the pacifier and they tend to settle. So that's one of the positive things. If they have, they get oral gratification and all babies have that. Oral gratification by, you know, um, having something in their mouth. So it does help to settle them. Um, so you're not constantly sitting there bottle feeding them or breastfeeding them, okay? So it gives you a break. However, these babies become so dependent on it after some time that if it's not there, they will cry hysterically. Actually, I had a cousin who we traveled with them. He's a, he was young, probably, probably 10 months old. And we traveled to Mombasa with his mom and our family many years ago. And unfortunately, he dropped the pacifier in the train. So we get to Mombasa and he's hysterical and the mom's find, look, trying to find it. She could not find it. Let me tell you, this child was cranky for like three days because he, she didn't have a spare. If you give them a different pacifier from what they're used to, they also sometimes tend to reject it. So I'd say have three or four that he's, he's constantly changing so that the baby can get used to a variety. So that's the problem with the pacifier. Once they get used to it, then it becomes difficult to, for them not to have it. If they're sleeping, they tend to be on a very light sleep because they're sucking. So if they're sucking something, they're not deep asleep. If they're deep asleep, it tends to fall off. But if they're sucking on it and they're, they're sleeping, their sleep is really light. And I think that's one of the benefits the feats they say uh, it helps with the sudden infant death syndrome. It lowers the baby's risk of SIDS, okay? Another thing about the pacifier is that it falls all the time. It keeps coming out of baby's mouth and putting back. And that's why they now have these fancy clips, you know, that it, if it falls off the baby, it just hangs on their shirt if it's clipped on their shirt or their sweater, whatever they may be wearing. But if yours is not attached and secure, it will fall. So if you're somewhere where there's no tap water, what do you tend to see people doing? The mom either will put it in her mouth and clean it with her saliva or rub it on some clothes and put it back in the baby's mouth. So what does that do? It gives them germs and transfers germs so they can, may have diarrhea and vomiting because it's not clean. Ensure you're cleaning it well. Clean uh, water, soapy water, clean it and it, you don't necessarily have to sterilize it. Now. It's been found to cause a lot of ear infections in babies. Those who are using pacifiers quite often tend to have, I think because of the pressure and the sucking all the time constantly, they have uh, ear infections uh, because of use and they found it's related to the use of a pacifier. So that's some of the information that uh, some of you requested for. I hope you found this video informative and please share it with other uh, families, moms who you think would be interested in this kind of information with regards to pacifiers. Nurturing Moms is here to support you, to educate you and to empower you. Like our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. There's a lot of content. There's lots of videos that I've done previously that will be able to give you more information if you need pregnancy information, breastfeeding, labor and delivery. If you need to get in touch with us, there's our email address there. There's a phone number. You can text, WhatsApp and email and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you for watching Nurturing Moms and my name is Shiro Shiera.